Hello humans, welcome back to another glorious week of bus building with Franklin the schoolie. Woot woot. Uh, so this video is us insulating our school bus, Franklin, with Havelock wool. Uh, we, this also includes um, us putting up the framing for our ceiling because we had to do that before we could insulate the ceiling, but yeah. Hi, I'm Becca. This is my boyfriend, Jacob, our dog, Winnie, and our school bus, Franklin. We are converting Franklin into our dream tiny house on wheels, all by ourselves. We are far from professionals, but we are having so much fun on this chaotic journey. So follow along to see how Franklin turns out. We went with Havelock Wall, and I'm very excited about it. Um, it smells like sheep which i don't know why i wasn't expecting it to do that to smell like that when it's it's sheep wool um i'm very excited i don't exactly know what technique we're going to go with because i've seen it, people do it a few different ways um i have a cutting mat so it doesn't get all dirty touching the ground some big scissors, I have a rotary blade, and a, I actually don't know what these are called. I just bought them for my sewing project, I already forgot what they're called, but one of these cutting thingies, straight edges, straight edge, it's a straight edge, oh my gosh. Um, but I've seen people do like the shove down and pull up method, they cut a piece that is like, as big as the section that they need it to for the wall that goes down to the green part and then they shove it down all the way so they know it's all at the bottom and then they pull it up really slowly but I've also seen that be really difficult if you have screws poking through your wall and we do so we have I don't know if you oh that one has we have like these screws and stuff and then some of them have the screws from where we screwed these in. I don't really know. I don't want to screw it up. Especially because I'm doing this by myself so I can't even like blame it on Jacob. <laughs> it's it's all on me if I screw it up, but Oh my god, it's like soft. Ooh. This makes me wanna this makes me wanna buy wool and knit with wool. I've never knit with wool before, but I love knitting. I don't wanna, I don't wanna knit with wool. Becca, stay focused. You're insulating a bus. Not knitting. Oh my god. Okay. I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do. And then get back to you. Hmm. Yeah, so once I opened the package I just kind of had to get a kind of gather my thoughts and figure out what I wanted to do how I wanted to do it and kind of figure out the best way to work with the material the wool was awesome to work with I loved it Winnie well, I don't know if you can see but she's sleeping up on the bed right there Winnie always thought I'd smell weird when I came home but that's okay uh I did because I smell like sheep and sweat but that's fine um yeah, but I just kind of had to get a handle. At first, I just, like, was really careful and shoved them down and then brought them back up. And then the next day, I realized, oh, you know what? I think actually what will be best is to sew the pieces together that I'm putting in so that there's to make sure they kind of go together really nicely and there's no gaps. Because... <laughs>
it all.
situation where it was supposed to go. is insulated. It was honestly a really great process working with Havelock Wool. We decided to go with Havelock Wool due to the sustainability aspect of it. We like the company. We think it was, we like, think it's a good company. Not sponsored, but that'd be pretty sick. We're kind of, I think, no one knows about us, so definitely not getting sponsorships anytime soon. But loved, like, I, I love a small business. I love supporting sustainability and everything and so does jacob so we and it's just a great way to insulate a bus without having to worry about like the possibility of doing it incorrectly inhaling things you're not supposed to inhale when you're doing it um black mold from growing one it's out of sight like all completely done and everything you know all of that and the r value is good i can't remember what it is but all in all we just felt really good about going with Havelock Wool, and I'm so glad we did. I had a lot of fun doing it. Um, you'll notice that Jacob really was only there for the ceiling part, and I was really okay with that. Honestly, I liked doing this completely, for the most part, on my own. Um, I love him, but uh, my sewing stuff is my sewing stuff. He doesn't get to mess with my sewing supplies, which is what I was using for this. So, <laughs> but it was really fun. I'm super glad we got it insulated. Cause you know, it is getting chilly, not right now it's not, but we wanna make sure when we're working in the winter, it's totally warm. So our bus is fully insulated, which is awesome. All right, that's all for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe if you did. To, and tune in next week where we are installing our Max Airfan. Super exciting. Bye.